Good morning, good evening, good night, and good afternoon, folks. It's your nighttime, right time DJ here with another music rant. I got 15 minutes to rock this post, and I really wish I had more than 15 minutes. Tell you what I'm going to do. Check me out Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, I should say, at noontime for the music chop up, Saturday morning chop up. I'm going to finish this video, but right now, I'm going to prelude to it. You know, with the killing of George Floyd, with the killing of Ahmaud Arbery, with the passing of John Lewis, you would think that white America would be a little bit more sensitive, would a little bit use their brain a little bit more when they come up with videos like this. Look up in the left hand corner. It doesn't say white folks uh, mock Colin Ka Kaepernick. It says the Navy. The Navy. mocks Colin Kaepernick and why because Colin Kaepernick decided because of the police injustice the uh, killing of unarmed black men uh, all this police corruption he decided to do a peaceful protest by taking a knee so guess what there's some uh, some portions of white America that still want to talk about that, that still want to vilify Colin Kaepernick at any chance they get. Now, I served in the military, and is there a racist element in the military? You goddamn right it is. And anyone, any black man that served in the military, whether it be the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, or the Coast Guard, you cannot tell me at some point in time you did not run into an element of racism. In your platoon, in your unit, in your squad, especially when you're in boot camp. For some white Americans, that's the first time they ever had to be in close quarters with black people. They had to hold their tongue. But once they got, as we say, once they got onto the fleet, fleet Marine Corps, fleet Marine Force, they are able to speak and do as they want to do. Now, here it is. These are Navy SEALs that you're about to see, and they are training dogs. It's funny how the person that has on the, the that person is being attacked by the dogs has a Colin Kaepernick jersey on. What's the significance to that, ladies and gentlemen? Protests equals Colin Kaepernick equals how do we control black people? Oh, yeah, I remember. Let's go back to the 60s when we used to douse them with high-powered water hoses and sick dogs on them. Let's show people how it's done. But let's do it in a covert way. To where we use the military. So that way people can't say, well, this is, we're just training. You're right, you are just training. Maybe to them. But to us, as they say, you talk about your dog whistle, look for yourself, folks. Look at this fucking video. Go, here comes Raven. Raven is the museum mascot. All right, Josh, he's going to probably get another dog. Here we go. Here comes Callie. This is a shocking video. Callie's the oldest dog in the field, nine years old. Josh going to pick another one. From a fundraiser. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go, here comes Storm, Young Buck on the field, alright, here we go. By the National Navy SEAL Museum, a non-profit organization. Now I want you to look throughout this crowd, ladies and gentlemen. Do you see black folks out there? If this was a fundraiser, where the black folks at? If this is, uh, uh, if this fundraiser was sanctioned by the United States Navy, where the black folks at? Where the social distancing at? Hmm? Where the fuck is it? I see two Marines right there standing in that in that picture. Keep looking. Uh, you see if you see if you can find a black man in this video. Organization. Can Josh take more? Here comes Oplon. Smash some. I've seen Josh with twelve dogs at one time. In Fort Pierce, Florida. Oh, 
And then afterwards, see if you can hear what he says. And that's funny. Look in that crowd. And that's funny. So basically what they're saying is, okay, anytime these folks start uh, kneeling again, so-called these peaceful, peaceful protests, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to sick the dogs on them. If it takes more than one, so be it. Once we once we call the dogs off of them, then we're able to go in with high powered rifles, lay them on the ground, one or the other. Either the dogs will rip them to shreds, or if they keep in non compliance, we'll shoot them. Look at the back crowd, look at the backdrop. Again, no social distancing. These men that you see here are in the Navy. They are Navy SEALs. current and former Navy SEALs. I will stand. A joke. Laughter ensues from the crowd, clearly taking his statement as a joke regarding Colin Kaepernick's protest. I will stand. I promise you I won't kneel no more, Master. Please get the dogs off me. I'll stand. The Navy has launched an investigation into a putrid act that should not have ever taken place. In short, they are showing themselves here. Whether former or current SEALs, a man taking a knee is not an enemy. James Baldwin is not an enemy. Kurt Flood was not an enemy. Martin Luther King, John Lewis, Malcolm X, C.T. Vivian, these men are not enemies, but were and still are treated as such. The Navy described the handler attacked by the dogs as a target for a demonstration on the use of military working dogs to surprise and subdue enemy troops on the battlefield. As I just stated, Colin Kaepernick is not and was not an enemy. He was made out to... Now, look at this. Look at this particular... Does that look like someone that... Should have the dog should be represented by dogs attacking them. Is that someone? No, it's not. See, but the thing about it is, what Colin Kaepernick did, he made white America, the whole of white America, the so-called racist part of America, have to explain themselves now. It's uncomfortable for some of the reasons that they can come up with of their so-called racist activities. The police can't just arbitrarily kill you no more because you're black. They can't just stop and frisk you no more because you're black. All this started from this right here. This picture of this man you see kneeling. Be an enemy by white America not coming to terms with the strong grip white supremacy has had on this country, and in choosing to not recognize Cap's message, they instead point the finger back at him for making them uncomfortable with these unsettling realities. In a statement tweeted by the Navy, the inherent message of this video is completely inconsistent with the values and ethos of naval special warfare and the U.S. Navy. We are investigating the matter fully. Initial indications are... What is to investigate? The, the video says it all. What the only thing you need to do now is go through that list and find out, go to that video and, and get the names of everyone that was there. They should be, if they are currently in the military, they should be court-martialed. That's just bottom line to it. They should be court-martialed. Since that goes against the inherent values of the Navy, let's see if the Navy will court-martial these folks that are in this video. Chances are, hell no, they won't. That there were no active duty Navy personnel or equipment involved. TBD on that front. 
The Post also has more. As they reported, it was not immediately clear who filmed the event 12 seconds late. Terry Merlo, who originally posted the video on his Instagram account on... There it is right there. And, okay, let's back up for a minute. They said there was no active duty personnel there. Well, if I'm, if I'm thinking correctly, let me go back for a minute. What are those? What are those? Aren't those two Marines right there? What are those? Or could that be? I'll give the benefit. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Could that be ROTC? Hmm. I'm wondering. Let's, let's let's go a little farther in this. Let's see. Military dogs attacked a handler in a Kaepernick jersey for a museum event sparking a Navy probe. Navy SEAL Museum. Isn't that, isn't that connected with active duty military? I'm just saying. So, ergo, the investigation about that. means nothing means absolutely nothing just idle words tbd on that front the post also has more as they reported it was not immediately clear who filmed the event 12 seconds late terry merlo who originally posted the video on his instagram account on january 27 2019 wrote in the caption colin kaepernick stand in attacked by five navy seal attack dogs at fundraiser for the navy seal museum in fort pierce awesome Stand for the National Anthem. Hasn't... I want you to see that at the bottom. Read it again. So let me move that so, so you can see it clear. Awesome. Stand for the National Anthem. <laughs> Picture that. Right wingers seen enough. Taking L after L when they mention Colin Gaffertick's name. Donald Trump proclaimed... And when you get on your knee... And you don't respect the American flag or the anthem, that's not being treated with this. Then the knee became the gesture of combating oppression, institutional racism, and police brutality from the streets of Minneapolis to the prestigious halls of D.C., even if the latter is a little nauseating. Criticism of Kaepernick has often converged with attitudes about the military as conservatives claim his protests are disrespectful to service members and veterans. How many times? How many times must we go over this? I have great respect for men and women that have fought for this country. I have family, I have friends that have gone and fought for this country. And they fight for freedom. They fight for the people. They fight for liberty and justice for everyone. And that's not happening. I mean, people are dying in vain because this country isn't holding their end of the bargain up as far as, you know, giving freedom and justice and liberty to everybody. It's something that's not happening. And I've seen videos, I've seen cir circumstances where men and women that have been in the military have come back and been treated unjustly by the country they fought for and have been murdered by the country they fought for on N our land. Nothing else need be said about that, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing else need be said. Colin Kaepernick wrapped it up so eloquently, so right that this little click right here the navy's talking about uh they're going to and doing a full investigation we know that's bullshit anything that you see with this navy department of the navy logo on it it's affiliated with the navy so if the navy wanted to really find out who this was it already would have with that folks make sure you join me this saturday at 12 noon eastern standard time I'm going to have a whole lot more to say about this particular post and some others. So, again, like, share, subscribe. Please do. Have a good afternoon. More equipment involved. TBD on that front.